Hello. Today I would like to talk about shifters. These are devices which are designed to encourage free movement of the eyes. It doesn't do to think about making the eyes move. What you need is something that's within the environment that will create a flickering effect that will automatically catch your attention and allow your eyes to start to vibrate a bit as you move through the scenery, especially when doing the long swing, for example. So what I've got here is one that I made a few years ago. This is a piece of cardboard and I cut vertical slots in it, a row of rather thicker vertical slots and a row of thinner ones, just to try out which one would be better. It's white this side, black this side. So if I'm shifting in front of a window, I can have the black side towards me and this will emphasize the contrast between the light out there and the black bars which are moving across my visual field. So I'm going to do a long swing, resting my weight on the left heel. I swivel my body round to the left, swivel back to the middle and keep going, transfer the weight to the right heel and continue. So I'm carrying my head around on my body and my head is carrying my eyeballs around and my eyeballs are sitting in their sockets like passengers in a very comfortable aeroplane watching the world go by. And as I do this, I'm going to use my shifter to add extra flickering to the panorama that's moving past me. If I hold it like this and I move around, I get a certain amount of flickering, but the best way is as you move to actually make the shifter move at a greater rate than the rate you're moving at. And I really get a sense that there's a lot of space out there and it's all flickering and moving past me. And my eyes really feel as though they're waking up. Another one you can use with the long swing, pinhole glasses. I don't find them all that helpful for many things, but if you're doing the long swing with the pinhole glasses on, you can get a certain amount of flickering. And the interesting thing that this increases if you also use a shifter within the room. Something like a bookshelf with a lot of vertical lines on it will go across these little holes and really give a feeling of flickering and allow your eyes to loosen up as you go. You can also use your own fingers. Waving both hands. When I'm out and about, I like to look for things that I can use as shifters, just as maybe if I'm standing waiting for a train, there's a wonderful railing opposite the platform, and I can do a little surreptitious swing along the railing. Or walking in the woods, you've got, especially in winter, all the verticals of the tree trunks moving past each other as you move. You just pay attention to them and let them flicker through your field of vision. If you practice watching the movement of things going past you, and especially enhance it by using shifters, you can get a lovely sense of relaxation just from the awareness that things are moving through your visual field. If you want to work on your near vision for reading, you can either make or find something with stripes on it. I drew this myself. It's like a sort of a snake. There are very close together lines here and they get gradually thicker and further apart. So at the bottom, they're quite thick and far apart. Black, white, black, white, black, white. And what I can do with this is I can take a pointer. This is a cocktail stick. Shade one eye at a time. 
and just stimulate the vision of this other one eye by following the pointer as I move it along this sort of ladder. And I get the same flickering effect as I get with the railing or other distant shifters and I can pick which is the best size to give the most relaxing flickering feeling. Then of course I would shade the other eye and do the same with the other eye. And then with both eyes together, always letting them be very soft, letting them blink and focusing on the sensation that you get from seeing this movement across the stripes. I've got another one here that I drew. This is a figure of eight. It's a sort of a railway track with the sleepers drawn, some of them more black and some of them less black. So I can just go around this, down, up through the middle, round, down, up through the middle. Same thing, one eye, then the other eye, then both eyes being soft and relaxed. And this is quite fun for children because you can pretend it's a little train going along the track. Or you can do it with your fingers, or you can do it with both fingers at once. And then you're actually bringing in the peripheral vision because you can't focus on two fingers simultaneously, but you can get them in the periphery. Like that. Something else I've got here is a piece of stripy fabric. And this, I can lay on the floor and roll balls along it. So here I've laid out my track on the floor and I've got a nice ball with different colours that will go around as you roll it. And it's quite fun to have somebody each end of this, one that end, one this end, and roll the ball to each other and back again. You can use shifters with a field divider or an eye patch to stimulate an amblyopic or lazy eye. See my video on the field divider.